Hey guys, what's up? Team Natty here again. We are in the beautiful Alley Park. It's got that gold, we got that golden hour glow going on right now. It's really hot. It's late July. So, uh, ooh, lemony. No, I'm not drinking lemon juice. I always just reuse these bottles for water. But anyway, it's late July, so it's like 80 some degrees outside. Uh, just walked, just had a hike, came here to uh, clear my mind, just use my free time. I worked out early this morning. I uh, got on my, you know, I've been on my purpose, been on my grind. So I've been trying to wake up early and get that done before work, and it just makes my whole day better. But anyway, so uh, went for, I was like, man, I got my afternoon free. What am I going to do? It stopped raining. So decided to come here, have a nice hike. But I wanted to tell you about something that I've been thinking about lately, and that is how to let go of toxic people, how to get out of toxic relationships. So the thing is, toxic relationships, especially right now, very hard to get out of. I mean, think about it. We're in quarantine, we are like can't really do a whole lot of stuff. So if you're stuck with someone at home who's toxic, it's very hard to get out of that. It's very hard to get around that. Uh, it's very hard to let go of some of those things. A lot of us are staying connected through electronic devices and some of us are like, man, well, like, I really don't have that, that many friends so I'd rather like get, you know, have this relationship with this toxic person than have no, than have no one. And I've even been there when it wasn't the, um, when it wasn't the case, when it wasn't a quarantine or when I, I mean, even when I had uh, other people, I was just so used to the familiarity of a, of this, of a toxic person in my life that I would have, I would have chose that every time. And it's bad because what that does is it drags you down. It pulls you down. It saps your energy. There are things. There are energy vampires. It's it's true. Okay, people's negative energy, people's toxicity in your life can have major effects on you, whether you know it or not. You you'll recognize. You'll recognize these people. You'll instantly. Your mood will suffer when you're around them. They'll make you doubt yourself. They'll make you question yourself, question things, question your purpose. They'll put you down for things. If someone's really down with you, if someone's really cool. They will not care. They won't care about what you do. Like you can be like, yeah, um, this person messaged me, blah, blah, blah. Or, hey, I'm going to go play Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. They'd be like, dude, that's sweet. You know, cool. I'm glad you're going and doing something with your friends. Or like, I'm glad some people are talking to you. You know, I'm glad that person hit you up uh, and told you that you inspire them. But um, people who are toxic, you know, they'll put you down like, oh, you play that game? Or like, why are you wasting your time with those losers? Or... Um, They'll make fun of the people that you associate with uh, physically or uh, on an emotional level. I mean, really anything, okay? They're, they will belittle you. They will make, like I said, they'll question you. You'll, you'll, you'll recognize it. You'll notice yourself being more tired around them. You'll notice yourself walking on eggshells around them. Uh, even to the point where you wonder whether they love you or not, despite whether, despite them telling it to you all the time. So are there are a lot more like bugs are just trying to swarm me now. Um, so these people, yeah, like they'll, they'll, they'll make fun of you for what you do instead of accepting you for what you do and like trying to learn about it. Um, but what you need to do, first and foremost, is you need to just tell them straight up. Try doing that. That's like your first method. Like, hey, I don't appreciate that at all. Okay, and let's just get this off the table like right away. Like everyone has been toxic to someone in a relationship before. I've been toxic before. You've been toxic before. Everyone's been toxic at some point in their life. And uh, I actually have respect, a lot of respect for the people that I was toxic to that walked away and that took me out of their life and decided to move on because good for them, you know? And hopefully I can do that with the people who are toxic to me because some people will not change, they will not grow and it's too hard on you and it's not your job to make them grow, okay? They have to do that for themselves. So what you can say is like, hey, uh, you know, I really I really value you. I think you're a great person, but like this, this mood you got going on, it's sapping my energy. I really don't appreciate it, just, I, I, I really like it if you didn't do that anymore. And you know, just go about it nicely. You know, be a cool person. You know, don't be an asshole. Don't be like, hey, you know what? F you, you're pissing me off. Like, get out of my face. When you push, like everything has an equal and opposite reaction. So when you push, you get a push back, okay? We did the same thing in wrestling. You know, you want someone to shoot on you, you just give them a little push and they push right back and they just sprawl. So be nice about it. You know, if the attitude, if the behavior doesn't change, if they continue to do that, or if they even make fun of you for saying that in the first place, then you know you have a problem. You say, hey, look, like, 
I love you or I like you know you're my friend I appreciate you whatever the case may be whatever the, your relationship with it is with this person then just say but I need to take a step back we need to not talk until we figure each other out or you know something like that along those lines that is going to be the hardest part it's when you have to break contact when you just have to stop talking to them take them out of your cell phone if you have to delete that even if you really enjoy say you talk to them on snapchat or instagram or something and you say you really enjoy that app if you don't want to block them like block them or something or mute them uh, don't don't look at their stuff, but if it's really like bothering you then just Delete the app. I've done it before several times delete the app Get rid of it block their cell phone number for a few weeks. Just something. Okay, just Say hey, I gotta go don't try to meet up with them or anything. Just completely cut them off. Just Just stop it right there Move back say you know like if you really need me, you know how to reach me, you know So maybe don't block them turn off notifications something. I don't know Whatever you need to do to make sure that you're not talking to that person who's negatively affecting you. Wish them well and you know, pray for them. That's the best thing you can do really is pray for them. Every night, every day, whatever, whenever you pray, how many ever times a day you pray, pray for them. Um, you know, hope that they, that they learn and grow and get that connectivity with God and that they develop and they realize what they were doing. But, you know, always make sure that you know that there's a possibility that you might have to keep that like that severed connection forever you might never you know be back with that person and that might be the best solution for both of you it might be better for them to learn in order for them to learn and it might be best for you in order to not in like and give them that situation to become toxic or to put you through a situation where you're with a toxic person that can bring you down that can affect your mood your morality just anything like that so no contact, you know, if they do come around, if like say it's been a while, things change, they start acting different, you know, maybe let them in slowly and then see how they are still acting. There are times, I mean, you can, they can fool you. I fool people before you, you change and you change for a while. And, but as soon as you get comfortable again, it might take a year, might take two, might take five. You start acting the same way and you just, whoa, whoa, what happened? You completely regressed. The thing is, people think that you change, and once you change once, it's for good. But this this life is daily, you know? You have to constantly renew your mind. You have to constantly actively and be, like, and, and do it in a, in a fashion of awareness. You know, you have to be aware. You have to be actively renewing your mind, changing, making adjustments, tweaking things, working on yourself. You don't just work out and get big and then like just okay well i guess i got like i guess i got guns now i never have to work out again someone once said that like to me i went i was like oh, i gotta hit the gym real quick and they're like why you already have muscles and it's like uh yeah because i keep going to the gym you have to constantly go you know you have to maintain yourself um plus i want to get bigger so that is my video today i hope this helps it's a small video it's weird i don't know i just thought it would help so toxic people especially in like today's day and age now remember like i said we've all been toxic so have you know show grace you know show grace be forgiving realize that they might be going through a hard time or something but you don't have to be in a you don't have to put yourself through a hard time just because they're having a hard time you know um be there for them pray for them but ultimately just realize you might have to cut it out and walk away and that can happen guys i hope this helps as always, take it easy. Team Nadia.